Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, January 2nd, so Happy New Year. And today I don't have to work, thank God. Uh, we got Monday off because the holiday fell on Sunday. But right now, I am about to bake a little cake. Well, a couple of little cakes because I am celebrating hitting 150,000 followers on TikTok, which is crazy. I hit it like last week sometime. And at first I wasn't going to celebrate. I was just, you know, I did not, I've never celebrated like hitting any milestones on TikTok or like social media or Instagram because I've never really cared that much about the numbers. Like, yeah, like numbers are cool, but um, I don't know. I just felt like this is a big deal. I didn't even celebrate when I hit 100K, which that's a lot of people. Like, let's not act like that's not a lot. So um, I wasn't going to celebrate because I was like, you know what? Like, it's not a big deal. Like, whatever. But then I came across this TikTok of a girl who was celebrating hitting 20,000 followers and she was so excited and I was like you know what I'm, I'm excited too like it's okay to be excited about hitting these milestones and celebrating the wins like I've been posting on TikTok for a year and a half and I don't know like it's it's changed my life in more ways than one and so I'm like you know what I'm gonna celebrate myself Celebrate this win, celebrate this accomplishment because why not? I deserve to and I'm excited about it. And let me not act like I'm not excited because this is really freaking cool. So I'm going to make a little cake for myself. Um, I got this cake mix, the little funfetti, and then the icing. So I'm just going to make this and I'm going to make it into this heart tin because I just think that'd be really cute. I love cooking in this. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to celebrate. And I think I need to do that more often for myself. Like, acknowledge and celebrate my accomplishments instead of thinking things aren't a big deal. Even though I feel like they are, I feel like celebrating just, I don't know. It felt, I don't want to say it felt silly. But it just felt like, oh, you know, like, you're not at your goal. You're not this yet. Like, why celebrate? Wait till you get there. But no, I'm going to start celebrating all of the little things that I've achieved and that make me happy because life's too short. So, let's bake a cake. I think that is the first time ever in my life I've cracked eggs and not gotten a shell. <laughs> not gotten a shell in whatever I'm trying to put the eggs in. So, look at that progress. Okay. Now this is going to need a cup of water. Cup of water and a fourth of a cup of oil. Okay, where's the fourth? Oh, it's out of this. That seems like a lot.
my little cake oh oh it almost fell my little cake is done i'm so proud the first little batch of hearts that i made i left in the oven too long because i was distracted and they got burnt so i had to throw i had to throw them away but there's my little cake i just wrote 150k on there um i'm a little emotional i wish i wasn't celebrating by myself um i wish i wasn't celebrating this by myself but nonetheless i'm still really happy and really proud of myself and you know um but to celebrate all the milestones and achievements and goals no matter how big or small they are um i did something nice for myself I deserve a little cake. I don't know if you can tell if it's a heart, but I know it's a heart. So, I'm happy. And it tastes good. I tried a bite of, uh, when I had to like cut a piece off to make sure it was done, I tried that piece and it's good. So, here's to the next goal. But honestly, sometimes I think about like, when you reach a goal, sometimes it's okay to like, sometimes it's okay to just sit and enjoy reaching that goal. I don't always have to move on so fast to the next one. Like, let me just take my time and relish and enjoy this. And then I can think about that. It doesn't have to be, oh my gosh, I hit 150K, let's go to a million. Like, no, I'm gonna enjoy this moment, be happy and be proud of myself. Cause I did a good job. And the part that I'm the most proud of is that I stayed consistent. I feel like I really built a little community of friends, you know, online friends. Maybe one day we'll all get to meet. Maybe not all of us, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, 150,000 is a lot of people and I'm just really appreciative of everyone that supports me and is there for me. Today we're going to the gym, we're going to go to the grocery store, and um, just kind of like, I'm going to take you around with me on my day. It's Tuesday, and I'm not at work today. I don't want to say that I'm playing hooky, because I definitely scheduled a PTO day just so I could like get some stuff done, and I just needed some days off. Uh, so I'm about to make breakfast right now. It is like, it's 9 o'clock. I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym. I wanna get to the gym by 11. And today I'm gonna be doing legs and glutes. So I am excited for this workout one because I rarely get to work out like during the daytime in the week, during the week, because I'm at work. <laughs> so I'm excited to go to the gym and get a good workout in where it's like a little bit less crowded and I can like take my time and I just have to be done, you know, before the kids get home from school. So I'm about to, um, I think I'm gonna make avocado toast. Uh, do I have an avocado? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna make avocado toast and some turkey sausage. Um, and that's really all I have because I need to go to the grocery store. I literally will put off going to the grocery store. I hate it so much. It's like my least favorite thing to do, but has to be done, apparently. Side note, why are eggs so expensive? Like, I went to the grocery store the other day, and a carton or a dozen eggs was like $4, and the one with 18 in it was $7. What's going on? Is there a chicken shortage? Like, I don't understand. Eggs used to be less than a dollar. So all I have right now is egg whites. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna make. Um, and then I have this. Why is that wet? Okay, and then I have this I'm gonna make. I wanted to make avocado toast, but I'm feeling kinda lazy, to be honest. Feeling a little lazy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. We'll see. What's the serving size on here? 
So ring size is two. So earlier this morning, um, when the kids got up, well, when the, earlier this morning, earlier this morning, I went on a walk around the neighborhood for about an hour. I did that like right after the kids got on the bus. Got some steps in and uh, it was a good little walk. It was slightly chilly outside. A little more chilly than I thought. I did not wear the red coat. This is what I went with. Okay. I was gonna make avocado toast. I did not feel like doing all that. So I just have my turkey sausage, egg whites, and a piece of regular toast. And then I'm drinking my greens. So good. Mmm. Oh yeah. This one, that's really good. I don't like my hair. But how do you guys feel about the whole middle part versus side part thing? So I'm definitely a side part kind of girl, but the middle part, I don't know, I kind of, I think I'm kind of liking it. Um, I feel like this is a, this is definitely a high protein meal because in here with the greens, I mixed this, um, off of collagen this with the greens so this aqua collagen is protein plus plus protein plus hydration and it has 24 grams of protein per serving so I'm getting protein in and it only has 80 calories with no carbs so this is a really good way to get some protein in without getting extra carbs I mix that with the greens um, I've got two turkey sausage patties here and egg whites. Can we say high protein? The egg whites don't taste half bad. <laughs> um, normally I don't like egg whites just by themselves. Like I have to eat it with something. But these are not bad today. Mm -hmm. Probably because I overcooked them. I saw this on the internet. I'm eating with my left hand and I'm right handed. And I saw this thing on the internet that says you should switch up the hand that you eat with because it's like good for your brain. Like keep your brain functioning. Not functioning, but you know, keep it sharp. So I've been doing that and I you know my left hand is not my dominant hand but I have noticed that like I'm able to do a lot more things with my left hand and it's not challenging like I can't I can write with my left hand but it's not like as good as the writing with my right hand fun fact both of my kids are left-handed I feel like that's rare like usually like the lefty is like you know one kid and it's not both kids but both of my kids are left-handed I don't know where they got it from because their dad's not left-handed I am trying to decide which shorts I want to wear I haven't worn either of these in a while so I'm thinking any mini money mo I don't know I've been really feeling pink lately, not gonna lie, but I also like, I don't know, I think I'm, I think I want these. I'm gonna wear this gray um, crew neck with it because it's cold. I'm trying to think. Does that look better or does that look better? I think I'm gonna go with the pink ones. Sorry, blue. Uh, but these shorts are from... Diosafit official they are so flattering like I don't know if you can tell how they have carved out extra room in the butt cheek area so it's just it stretches over your glutes so nicely um and then they're seamless in the front 
And these are the four inch inseam. Okay, they're very peachy. Like, very, very peachy. So I'm gonna get my bag ready. Um, I think I showed this in my vlogmas of what I got for Christmas, but I got this backpack and this is a Nike backpack. Um, I used to have this shoulder strap bag and I was just over that style of bag because I feel like it was just, I don't know, it was in the way, it was always being into stuff. And I just feel like the backpack is a much better option for me. So far, I've been loving it. So I guess I'll do like a little what's in my gym bag. Um, the first thing that I have in there, well, I'm about to mix it up, but I'm going to take my Oxy Shred. It's my pre-workout. And then the Beyond uh, BCAAs and EAAs. I drink the Beyond like during my workout. So this helps with like recovery and like muscle soreness and stuff. Um, so that's in there. And then I also keep my ankle straps when I do the cable machine i bring my own because i do not like the ones at the gym they're raggedy they just the velcro part right here is like fuzzy and worn like this strap barely sticks it's just a mess so i bring my own um and then i'm gonna take my headphones these sony headphones these are linked in my amazon storefront and then i have my um where is it Oh, my shoes. I'm gonna put those on and then I'm gonna take my tripod today because I'm gonna record. So this tripod is like one of the taller ones. This is from Amazon. I think it goes up to 60 inches, which is nice because it's like eye level height with me for the most part. And I just feel like it gets a better angle. So I'm gonna take my tripod today. In the front of my gym bag, I just have my wallet in there. And then I have a little body spray from Bath and Body Works. And then I also keep in the front pocket, um, I have some gum, lotion, and a tampon just in case. My gym always has tampons like for free if you need them, but I like to have one in my bag too, in case I'm not at the gym when I need one. We're doing mango today. This is my favorite flavor. It's the best one in my opinion. Um, I'm going to sip on this on the way to the gym. sweatpants over these shorts I don't look like a whore before I get to the gym I'm just kidding I won't look like a whore but it's cold outside I'm not trying to wear shorts in the cold Ooh. it's giving prison <laughs> uh, that's all right We can go. Um, ooh, I need to take a ponytail holder. I almost forgot. I almost forgot to grab one. Yesterday, when I was at the gym, I forgot a ponytail holder. I had to work out with my hair down the entire time, and it was in my way, and it was, it was, my hair was like in my way the entire time, and it was not a fun experience. So, let's go. Let's go to the gym. I'll see you guys when we get there. Mm -hmm. 